Smokes to Bel Air. The duet cycle is a pretty slick ride, and there's not too much to set up initially. Footrest goes on the front here. These pins should be stored here so that they don't get lost. They slide right up and out. These plastic clips engage here, line up the holes, pop in the pins. Your tools for adjusting the headrest and the footrest are located right here with the red handles. You have a smaller Allen key on this side and a larger on this side. To be able to slide the headrest up and down, you'll need an Allen key to loosen these four screws or bolts on the back. That will allow you to adjust the angle of the headrest as well as the height. And then tighten. To adjust the position of the footrest, you'll also need an Allen key to loosen these bolts and you'll be able to slide the pieces up and down. The tires should be inflated to between 45 and no more than 60 PSI. Uh, there is a bike pump located right here under the chair, but I hate these things. I much prefer an air compressor. The Duet Cycle is electric motor assisted, which is awesome. You've got these battery packs on the back here, and there's a key on the left-hand side of the, the seat. Turn the key to the on position, and then press and hold the red on-off button on the handlebars for a couple of seconds. A green light will flash, and then you can let go. A little green eco light comes on, and you know that you're ready to ride. If you want more power, you can turn the eco mode off just by pressing the green button. Eco light goes off. Away you go. This green light indicates your battery power and we are at full charge. If you are going to leave it anywhere for any length of time, uh, such as to pop in to grab that cup of coffee, uh, there is a bike lock located right here with the key. Duet Cycle has two battery packs but only needs one at a time to run the electric motor. So if one battery should die on you and you need to switch to the other one, look for the one that has the black and blue cord plugged into the back here. Make sure that the duet cycle is turned off and powered off and the key is in the off position. Pull this slider thing back, twist and pull out. You can bring that around to the other battery pack. Plug in, twist, it'll lock in place and you're ready to go. If the batteries need charging, There's a separate power adapter, and the battery packs can come right out with the grasp of the red handle. You can bring that in the house and plug it in. All these connections only fit into one place. That goes into your wall. This goes into this little thing here. Slide the cover away. You're good to go. The batteries have a charge indicator. If you press this button right here beside the little battery icon, the lights will illuminate to indicate how much power you've got left. Your brakes are right here on the handlebars and there's a bit of a parking brake if you pull the brakes as tight as you can and then slide this plastic clip forward that will lock the front brakes in place. Your gear shift is right here and it's a seven speed. Just rotate one way or the other to increase or decrease your numbers. While your front brakes are on the handlebars, your rear brakes are engaged by pressing backwards. To turn on the headlights, just pr press this black button right here. When you're in the nighttime riding, in the back there will be three lights. To turn it on, under this right light, there will be a button that you push to the right. And don't forget the bell. Mm -hmm.